lot of the viewers ask me where I get all my ideas from, and I, I want to give them an answer because sometimes they mean it in a nice way. <laughs> now, I'm not one of those guys who just walks around in a vacuum and comes up with things out of thin air. I know that worked for Einstein and Galileo, but I guess that's just the difference between me and them. <laughs> now, I always start with something and then kind of take it from there. For example, right here, I have a 500-foot roll of butcher paper. You know that stuff they wrap meat in to hide the evidence after you've killed, skinned, and gutted a harmless domestic animal? <laughs> I'm just kidding you, yeah. Okay, first thing I do is take a look at the properties of what I'm working with. This stuff has one side that's shiny and kind of sticky, and the other side is smooth and very slippery. Now I just take a minute and see what my mind can come up with. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, the, uh, the butcher paper. Yeah. <laughs> I could use it as a memo pad, or you could jot down phone numbers or messages, or maybe a grocery list, where you write down whatever you noticed you were running out of, and then have the convenience of being able to rip the note off and take it with you. Sure, those are great ideas, but they're just not practical. Now, this is where the creative handyman takes it to the next level. All right, what's the worst part about summer, huh? That's right, you can't go tobogganing. That's because toboggans won't slide on grass and sand. They need something slippery, like ice or snow, or the slippery smooth side of my butcher paper, huh? Okay, you want to position your toboggan facing down the hill the way you want to go. But before you get too excited, you want to get something heavy, some weight of some kind. I've got a couple of rocks here. And you want to put them on the end of the piece of paper. I'll explain what that's all about a little bit later. But the beauty now is I can go tobogganing any time I want. And if I do happen to split my head open on a rock, well, I've got plenty of paper to wrap it up in. But <laughs> remember, if women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Well, it doesn't end here, because I still got to get the toboggan back up the hill. See this? This is a cordless drill. This is our friend. <laughs> Remember those rocks I put on the paper? Not looking so dumb now, am I? 